So if you're searching for a gaming monitor and you're on a budget, maybe this LG version can be quite interesting. I picked it up a very long time ago and as I'm making this video, I'm using them for a very long time now. And basically the 24GN650 are absolutely like great monitors. But how good are they? That's what we're going to talk about today. What are we going to get inside the box and is it worth your money? Hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video I wanted to take a close look at my new gaming monitors I'm going to use, I'm hoping for a very long time. I've been using old school Dells and they were like pretty damn good. Specification wise not, but they were IPS, but I want to have like an upgrade. And these are like 144Hz panels. They're not Nvidia sync proven or G-Sync proven, they have like the AMD FreeSync Premium. But still curious how they will work on my NVIDIA card. These are like HDR IPS panels and a combination with the resolution of full HD or that is 9080 by 1080. But when it comes to let's say smaller models nowadays I wanted to have a 24 inch. I have limited space and do I have like two monitors on my desk to work with. So I don't have space for a 27 inch and it's way too big for let's say sitting in front of it because I don't have a lot of room between the monitor and myself. The Dell monitor I was using for let's say four or five years they had like these very nice monitor stands. And nowadays you see a lot of cheap brands having these horrible monitor stands. Okay there are some different stands you can buy separately like dual monitor, triple monitor. I don't want to have like all the hassle I just want to get a monitor and just put it on my desk connect it and let it go. So the first thing I've noticed like they picked it up very well so you don't need to be afraid that your monitor is going to be like in different pieces or better said in broken condition. No, the packaging itself has been done very nice. So this is what we're going to get inside of the box itself and I must say that the first impression is very positive. Not because everything was in very good condition, no, not only like that and they packed it up like absolutely crazy if you think about all of the packaging they put around the part. What is the way how this, let's say, monitor feels? It feels very nice, very sturdy. What I understand of, it's a combination of plastic and metal or aluminium that they're using to give this thing like a very nice look, but also a very sturdy feel. The design of the monitor of this Ultra Gear from LG is absolutely amazing. That's one also another reason I wanted to have it. If you're having a cool gaming setup, this thing will look absolutely awesome. So also this thing is made out of plastic but also metal so it gives a very nice touch to it and also it will like a very nice sturdy feel. Here you can see like at the bottom we even have like two freaking screws to put the bottom part onto the stand itself. Assembly is like easy peasy lemon squeezy you just basically position it let's see and that's it and you tighten up the two screws and that's the only thing that you need to do. Another thing I've noticed, like when you're looking at this monitor, it looks very nice the way how everything looks and how you need to assemble the monitor itself. So the mechanism they're using is absolutely amazing. You can actually have some minor cable management over here. So when you're looking at the options, this Ultra Gear like monitor looks very nice. Like if you quick look at the bottom, it does have like some rubbery feet to give them some extra grip on your table. Right, so next up, let's remove the monitor from the packaging or the sleeve that's basically put over it and the design itself is very nice it is a very nice slim model it doesn't have built-in speakers so if people want that a little bit of a bummer but it's a new thing but take consideration when it comes to the bezel we don't have a bezel on the inside or a very slim one but we also have one in the inside because the screen doesn't fill up the full monitor so then we do have like the navigation button at the bottom we do have like the mechanism at the back here you can see you can mount it if you want to to a bracket if needed we do have like multiple ports, display, two HDMI out and even a headphone jack out and an input of course for the power supply and a USB and that's only for service. So that's basically how it looks. When you click it in, it works like a charm, like that. So when it comes to the assembly, I personally really love this monitor and I'm very pleased with it. You can see this tiny button, you just push it down and you can just basically click the monitor mount out. So it's super easy and the way how this thing looks is absolutely cool. I was very glad because I was looking for especially a monitor with a very nice base and that's absolutely the thing that I was searching for and maybe you too. Alright so you can also basically put the monitor at a different height 
very very convenient you don't have this with every single stand you can have an like turn it if you want to have like for streaming in vertical mode so this thing compacts with a lot of cool features and that will like a lot about this thing but also in vertical mode we do have so many options you can even like tilt it a little bit if you want to so here we do have like a lot of options a feature that I think is absolutely a big positive side of the monitor. But let's power it on and let's take a close look how it looks. Okay, so I've just plugged in my PC, my mini PC, I mean MSI Trident. I just want to grab a racing game just to see how colorful it looks. It's always very difficult to capture on camera, but I can tell you like the colors are very beautiful. It's an IPS panel, so you have like way better bright, vibrant colors. Also, when you're looking up close, everything seems to be looking very nice. The FreeSync has been activated, one on the 44 hash, so this thing has amazing options. With the navigation button over here, here you can see the menu. You can navigate through the different inputs, HDMI 1, 2 and DisplayPort. And from this you can even navigate through different menus. For example, here we can check out what kind of option it is. What is turned on and off. For example, if you want to double check your HDR functionality, everything can be checked in here. We have some presets when it comes to the colors. So we do have like your typical things that we can find on normal monitors. All right, so let's take a close look at some different ones. So you can see what kind of color palettes we're having. So this gaming monitor does have some interesting features when it comes to, let's say, the game modes, not only for the colors, but also when it comes to the speed of the monitor. Here you can see like we do have like all kinds of versions when it comes to the colors, but also you can even adjust it when you want to play some certain type of games. Here we have like the FreeSync Premium that have been set on, as you can see, black stabilizer. And then we have like all kinds of things like even in crosshair, kind of funny to be honest. Brightness, contrast, sharpness, gamma, all the stuff that you can find in your typical monitor are also here. I must say navigating through the tiny button works very well. A couple of settings can be adjusted. You don't need to go all the way into the main menu. You can have like pressing it up, down, left or right. You can navigate brightness, volume. So you do have like some quick menus you can change out. That is very convenient. I've been checking this monitor out side by side with my old school Dell monitor. And I must say like when you're looking at like the display itself, it's not like a very big leap up. It's still in full HD and my older monitor was also in full HD. So basically, like when it comes to this monitor, we do have like a lot of amazing features that are related to the gaming scene. So to begin with, what I love about this monitor, that we have like a very slim bezel. Let's say not only on the outside, but also on the inside. And makes this thing monitor stand out very well. Downside is if you want to use an NVIDIA surround and you basically want to use three monitors, you still will have like this black bar between the monitors. So it's a little bit misleading, especially when you're looking at, at multiple monitors in a setup. For gaming, I would say with the 144 hz mode, yeah, absolutely, it looks way smoother when you're booting them side by side with a Dell monitor. But then overall, I think for a budget monitor, in combination of what you're going to get with the quality of the mount and everything, it looks absolutely amazing. When you're looking at this monitor, in combination the price that I paid for it, and of course in 24 inch Full HD, it's not the latest tech of course, we do have like 4K monitors, bigger displays, way better option, maybe Nvidia Sync if you need it and want it, but again, like it's a very budget monitor. I was searching for a better solution that I already had, it's a minor, let's say, jump up from the Dell, because the Dell were like IPS, 5MS, in combination with just 60 Hz. This is a 144 hertz, so when you're looking at for gaming, this is absolutely way better. Still got a very nice panel on the inside for a budget monitor. 
If you have any questions, you can always leave it in the comments. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell. Become on the Wicked family. And it will be great to see you in the next video.